Chris Stewart once again for BamaFever.com, coming obviously for the Pete Maravich Assembly Center in Baton Rouge after Alabama's 67-56 win over the LSU Tigers. Brian Pasek and I, of course, call the action on the Crimson Tide Sports Network. We have to come up with a player of the game. And there were a couple of guys that had great numbers. Trevor Ellerford, 15 points. Jamichael Green with 18. Tony Mitchell finished with 13 points. But we opted to go with a guy who had just 10 for the ball game, and that's Andrew Steele. Now, because of the numbers that he puts up, although there was one number that Brian pointed out that was so important, his 30 minutes of action. He's a guy that just kind of has a calming presence with, uh, for this entire basketball team when he's out there, plays rock solid on defense, tough with the basketball offensively, and really understands the way Anthony Grant wants things done. He's a big reason why this team incredibly now stands at 9-2 in Southeastern okay. Conference play and is tied with Florida for first place in the SEC race with just five games to go. Almost an afterthought is that with five to go, Alabama holds a four-game lead over its nearest challengers in the SEC West. So when they go into this game on Saturday night against Arkansas, Bama with a victory would assure themselves of no worse than a tie, regardless of what happens down the stretch. It's an incredible run that Alabama has enjoyed, and the Crimson Tide tries to keep it going. They do so with a victory on the road against LSU, and they'll try to get another one on Saturday from Tuscaloosa. That's when we'll talk to you next. Until then, I'm Chris Stewart for BamaFever.com.